So just another quick video about Virtual DJ and the relatively new waveform cache and how not to get fooled by this waveform cache. So what's the waveform cache? Well, that's actually a cache on your laptop that stores the calculated waveforms. So that's actually the foundation of all these waveforms in the new waveform column, but also the waveforms that goes up here on the track. Um, and because those are stored, then they'll get, they can get shown almost instantly when you select a new track. But the downside is that they may not be ready. And that has uh, one bad thing that can happen, and then an even worse thing that can happen. And I'll show both of them here. So if I, uh, if I load a track down here, for instance this one, you can see it was instant. And this uh, waveform is actually based on the stems. So you would think that the stems are ready instantly, but they aren't necessarily ready instantly. Uh, you can sometimes see a little bit happening, but not a lot. It actually looks like they're, they're ready instantly. But uh, unless you have uh, pre-computed them, they won't be. So if I try to load another track, and then try to play that track right away, uh, remove the kick, and then jump close to the end, you'll hear the kick uh, still there, and it's only getting removed by using the stems feature when the, the stem separation catches up to where I'm playing. So let's, let's have a look, see if, if I can pull that off. So it's still there. And then it went away because the stem separation caught up to it. So that's a little bad because you think it's ready. But this might just be kind of a, 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 a situation that won't really happen in real life because it's very late in the track and the stems calculation is pretty fast and stuff like that. But it's still pretty bad if you'd expect to be able to, to jump to the, the end and if the stem separation on your laptop is not too fast. Uh, then the idea is that you can't really trust this Thing. So if I try to loop the first try again, you can actually see down here that the stems are being calculated. So you need to wait for this thing down here to finish before you can trust the stems on the track. So give it a few seconds and it's ready. And that's because, of course, because this laptop is not the best at calculating stems. It's doing it in the CPU. If uh, there was a, a good uh, a GPU in it that's supported by Virtual DJ, then that would be a lot faster. But this is what can happen. So that's pretty bad, but still only pretty bad. There's the one that's even worse, and that's for online content. Because it's the same thing, basically. And of course, with online content, you may be waiting quite a long time based on your internet speed uh, before the track is actually ready. But now I'm gonna go to videos because of course they download uh, slower, so it'll be easier to see. So you can see I have all these videos uh, from Tidal, and music videos, and uh, some of them have uh, pre-calculated um, waveforms, which means they gotta be in the cache, right? So if I load uh, one that's not in here, like this one, then you'll be able to pretty much follow along uh, the download speed and see, well, of course it's not ready yet, I can see that on the waveform. So if I load that one, you can see, okay, you're pretty pretty easy to see that that won't be ready yet, right? It won't, it's not ready yet. It's, it's still downloading, it's still doing this thing. So that's good and fine, and you say, okay, now it's ready, and now the stems are also calculated, and it's ready to go. But if I load one that's not uh, that that's uh, that's not missing the waveform, which means it has the waveform in the cache, then it's pretty hard to see. You need to look down the same place as below. You would think that this was ready to use instantly, like that. But it's not. You see, it's still downloading. Not, not ready yet, not ready for playing yet, not ready yet. And now it's computing stems, which is the pretty bad thing, but of course the downloading is the really bad thing. Because if you start playing the track and it catches up to the downloading path before it has been downloaded, then there was, won't be any, anything to play. So you can't trust this waveform when you're downloading tracks anymore. When you're downloading from one of the uh, from one of the online content providers, you can't trust that the track is downloaded just because that the waveform is shown. Because if the waveform has been cached from a previous load, then it may not be downloaded yet. So you can't start playing it yet. You need to basically wait and look down here and see that that has finished before you can start playing it. And then of course it's ready to go.